Guys, I'm very excited. Now, she always looks stunning on TV, but I have to tell you, in real life, a hundred times more beautiful. With oh, Bessa, how so are you? Much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm good. I, I'm so sorry I have a bit of a flu, so I'm just hoping I'm not gonna it's that's not gonna affect you I'm gonna say if you cough I'm running yeah I know <laughs> but otherwise I'm good we're trying to get everything together to be able to do the best performance that we can and to have this uh, pre parties which really are fantastic I've never been part of of course so here I am well I was hoping you'd bring the sunshine from Albania oh my uh, God. I it's know. like the worst weather here, right? I know, and it's unusual for Spain. I would, I would have thought, you know, it would have been sunny, but it uh, is what it is. Well, you're a ray of sunshine. It's so good to have you here. Um, you. How are you feeling? Because you've had a long time now to prepare for Eurovision. You selected uh, your song with the Albanian title that I can't pronounce the name of. Yeah. <laughs> Zemrindor. Zemrindor, yeah. which is now Titan. We've had a Titan, revamp yeah. uh, in English. Yeah. How are you feeling kind of with the preparations? Because you must have had ideas in your head for months now. No, yeah, that's true. Even though um, at the end of December, actually when, when um, Festival Ikeng is finished, um, it's like a period of holidays. So just everybody gets together January. So I wouldn't say there's been so much time to prepare considering there's I do this for the first time and my team also and so we've tried to do everything uh, the best way we can but c considering some other countries have had less time in a way uh, yeah Ooh, I, you I see, mean, it, see it as an advantage what? you see it as an advantage I I don't know actually it depends um, I guess it depends how uh, used the team behind you is on this experience yeah yeah now albania is becoming more and more known for people like yourself these amazing vocalists i want to know kind of where did your um your journey with music start and when did you find out that you had this uh, insanely large voice that you have because you can hit some notes <laughs> thank you um i kind of understood like my relationship to music and singing was special uh, at the age of five but I didn't know like if I was special I just knew that the way I expressed myself and made me feel better about everyday life <laughs> even though as a kid and later on um, was very early on and then afterwards it's your music teachers who tell you, it's other people invo involved in, in your life who kind of point it out. So, um, but professionally, I'd say maybe at the age of 16, I, I was probably heard by some, I'm sorry because, because I have the flu and my voice is like <laughs> cracking these days. So, um, yeah. I'll get you a lozenge. Oh. <laughs> What would be, because you've got this amazing voice, what would be like your, I don't know, we went to karaoke, okay. what would be like your go-to song? Oh God, I used to choose Cranberries, Zombie. Really? Yeah, I know. I was thinking like Whitney Houston, some no, big power I know, ballad. I, know. I just, I just, I was really into uh, Cranberries, Radiohead, I was really into like this of course, I I'm really, really surprised love, by that. Yeah. Too. yeah, I really like. Of course, everybody, uh, especially female singers, everybody loves Whitney Houston, of course, and icons like Michael Jackson and everybody else. But I'm oh, a like, big MJ fan. Yeah, yeah MJ. absolutely. But like as a teenager, though, I was like a bit rebellious, and so I like this like a little bit more. Uh, oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Indie, indie <laughs> better. I like yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> I would ask you to give us a little bit of a cranberry song, but I know that you're trying oh, to God. save your I'll, voice. I'll try. I'll Are you going to give it a go? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh, oh my God! Just, just wait. I want to do this right by the lyrics. Um, just, just remember me. In your head, in your head, they are fighting. 
Oh, you know what? Next time I see you, I'm going to get you to do Dreams because that's my favourite oh, Cranberry song. Okay. I love that one. <laughs> now, Albania, I've been there. I love it as a country. Uh, what would you say is uh, the most endearing thing? Like, if, if you were a, a, an outsider to Albania, what would you say would be like the number one or the, the, the top two things that you would say about Albania to draw people to come and visit? Well, Albania is uh, naturally very, very beautiful. So it really is like a pearl, but like not really um, completely discovered. So you have a lot to discover. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And on the other hand, um, there is a sense of freedom in Albania. And you will uh, possi- like probably experience the best hospitality by the people uh, that you may have ever encountered. And... Um, I think we're a bit loud, but we're like really loving. So, you know, you're free to do as you please. <laughs> yeah, you're loud. And some of the craziest drivers that I've ever experienced in my life, I think, especially in Tirana. But I think, I think there's, I, I think, I was in Istanbul actually like, like two days ago. And I think they are just a little, like Texas drivers in Istanbul are a little bit crazier than Albanians. I might have to, I've not been to Istanbul either, yeah, so I might have to. Like we, I might have to test that out. That, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you obviously are in Madrid now. It's the first show of the kind of pre-part season, but you are doing some of the other shows as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think this year, um, I was happy that the broadcaster uh, thought appropriate for us to be present at most of the pre-parties, which, of course, it can um, make a very tight schedule on everything. But on the other hand, it gives us the opportunity to meet to meet the media and promote our song and meet the, the people. It's like really emotional when I went to the hotel today, like people waiting in there to meet us. And that's, I know, it's really special. <laughs> and you get to experience tonight uh, the Spanish Eurovision fans because they are crazy for Eurovision and Eurovision artists. So we know you're going to have a fantastic time uh, tonight. We've loved watching your journey up to now and we can't Thanks wait so to much. meet you again at uh, some of the other pre-parties. But before we wrap up, uh, do you have a message for kind of uh, all of your new fans as well? Because you've got so many new fans now since you won uh, FIK. Yeah, that's fantastic to be like... Um, Realistic, Andy. This has been like a crazy journey up to now, and I think to get crazier. I know, I know, right? And but I've I've never known like firsthand the enormous love that your like Eurovision community and the fans they they uh, have given me and are giving me. And I would like to tell them all that they're all very special and that they should believe in themselves and no matter what difficulties they go through and whatever their demons are i know that inside they're all all champions and titans so and i would like them to uh, possibly give um, their vote to albania this year Yes, guys, you must if you want to see uh, better get through to the final imama you must give her yes, uh, your do. vote Please and do. I'm testing myself now because I can't. Are you in semi final two? Yeah. The no, second semi final. I'm second at the second semi final. Second, so 2 2 Albania. Give them a vote. We'll get Bessa through to the final. Bessa, thank you thank so, you much. so much. Uh, so nice to thank meet you. you. And we, I have to oh, high five with this. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm Is injured, that, guys. Oh I'm God. injured. <laughs> we'll high five with this hand. That's it. Thank you very much, <laughs> my you. darling. Thank you. Thank you.